guys, it's Margaret from Let's Learn to Sew. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove an embroidery design from a garment. I'm going to be showing you on a jacket, but the process works the same whether it's a t-shirt, a coat, a jacket, a sweater, whatever it's been embroidered on. All right, so in order to remove an embroidery design from an item, you're going to need a razor. A lint roller is helpful, as is a seam ripper. The thing we want to do is we want to get to the back side of the garment this happens to be um, on the outside of a pocket, so we're just going to turn it in. And what you'll see is what's called stabilizer. You want to go through, and if you're able, go through and just pick any off that you can. That's just going to keep from clogging up your razor too much. So I'm going to go through, get all of the stabilizer off that I can, and then pick up from there. So you can loosen the stabilizer with your seam ripper and then just, usually it's a tear away, so it'll just tear away. You want to be careful not to rip into the garment. Okay. Once you have most of the stabilizer torn away, we can go ahead and start working on the design. Now the way an embroidery design works is you've got your front side that is your color that shows, and then on the back side you have your bobbin threads. And these are what lock those stitches into place. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the razor, and I already started here before I thought about recording it for you guys. And we're just going to act like you're shaving. You're just going to rub it over those stitches. And what it's going to do is it's going to loosen, it's going to cut into those bobbin threads and loosen the stitches on the front. This is not a quick process, but if it happens to be a garment that you really want to save, this does work. The other thing you can do is just go in here with a seam ripper and start pulling it away a little bit. Then I'm going to come to this side and you'll see that these stitches start to come up. I'm just going to kind of brush them. I'm not actually going under there and picking them or anything they're just loosened because the bobbin stitches underneath have been broken and they're no longer being held in place. Flip it back and we'll just keep doing this until all of the bobbin stitches have been cut and then we'll flip it back over. I'm going to go ahead and do this entire design and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to remove the stitches from the front side. All right, so I've cut through quite a bit of this first K, and I did go ahead and grab some little nips. I'm just gonna go real lightly through here. You can even take your finger. As you can see, since those stitches have been broken on the other side, there's nothing holding a lot of this in place now. You can just sort of rub it and it loosens, pull it away. That's why, this is why I grabbed these, so I could start cutting the bigger strings away. Okay. You'll just keep doing this until the entire design has been removed. It's not a really quick process um, if it's a very dense design like this. Okay, so as you can see, the design has been removed. We've got these little bits of fuzz, and that's why I suggested having a lint roller handy. What we're going to do is we're just going to roll the lint roller over it and you don't want to do that until you've got the majority of the loose pieces off that you can get um, on your own otherwise you're going to fill up your lint roller really fast. So just roll the lint roller over it. Then if you still find some that are a little bit embedded even though there's nothing holding them in place on the back side you can take some tweezers or your fingernails and just kind of pull those out. Once you've got all of the thread removed, there might be some teeny tiny pieces that you can see but you can't grasp. Those are going to come out in the wash. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and wash and dry the jacket and then we'll pick up from there. Alright, so the jacket has been washed and dried and as you can see the embroidery design is completely gone. At this point we could put another patch on here if we wanted to re-embroidery over this. Um, we're just going to go ahead and leave it as it is since it's just a work jacket. 
If you have any questions about removing an embroidery design from your fabric or a garment, let me know down in the comment section and I'll be happy to answer them. If you're looking for more sewing tips and tutorials, be sure to visit letslearntosew.com.